Okay, so since the last video, uh, I've installed the um, the spindle here, um, complete with um, wiring it back up to the uh, control cabinet, um, and also these coolant pipes. So there's a flow and return for for coolant in and out of the spindle, um, and then the three phase power um, comes in uh, via this this cable at the top here, um, and it's got one of these um, screw on aviation connectors. Um, which I soldered in place. Um, got a couple of photos of how I did that, so I'll I'll show those as well. Um, I've also attached the. Um, the belt onto the Z axis, so manually now at least if I tug on this belt you can pull it up and down. The motor still isn't connected for that one. Um, and I've also, I don't know that you can see in the corner of the screen, added um, the really long belt. This is a polyurethane, obviously it had to be jointed because it's so long. Um, but that connects the ball screw on that side and the ball screw on this side, which together pull the gantry backwards and forwards. So now the gantry, <laughs> you can't really move um, unless, unless I tug on here. Hopefully I'm not too much in the way as I do that, but if I tug on this you can see that the gantry can move backwards and forwards. Um, and that is connected now. Um, so at the end of this video I'll, I'll, show, uh, I'll show that under power. Um, but in this video what I'd like to do is finish off putting on um, the rest of the limit switches. Um, I'd like to make sure I've got all the limit switches in place so that when I'm testing it, running it, jogging it around the place that if it does get too close to the edges um, it's got something there to, to stop it before um, before it does any damage to itself. Um, so at the moment I've got limit switches in place um, on the X axis and on the Y um, but so far not on the Z. Um, they all come in and are just the, the, um, it's all one continuous loop um, and if whenever wherever one of these um, switches is is depressed it disconnects that continuous circuit um, and sends that signal back to say that one of the limits has been hit um, so in order to to maintain that continuous loop I'll show you this diagram so yeah show you how it works um, so each one of the junction boxes I've got the the two the positive and negative 24 volt supply um, come in and connect onto two of the terminals inside the junction box um, and from there um, they go off to the next one and they go out to one of the switches um, so I did this diagram just so that I'd not confuse myself too much when I was putting um, putting the junction boxes together um, so there's there's a junction box basically for each one of the limit switches so that it can go um, onto the next and out to the switch, onto the next, out to the switch, and so on. So you can see there, um, we've got in, onto the next one, out to the switch, um, comes along to this one, onto the next one, out and down and across to the switches over on the other side there, um, then comes around into this junction box, out to this switch, along to the next one, um, which then comes up to this junction box here, which is going to have two coming out to go to the limit switches at the top and bottom of here. And the plan is to have um, them both pointing downwards next to each other, one here and one here, um, and then have some kind of little plate. I've just been playing around cutting these out um, so that as this comes up and down, it can it can hit into the switch. Um, so this, if, if you've got one here, this mounted to the bottom of the z-axis then as this comes up and gets to the point where it's at its limit this will bosh into this one and then if we flip that one around and have that one in reverse on this side and then have one up here then as this is coming down when it gets to its limit it hits into that one um, but the first job to do is just because generally speaking when I've mounted these I've screwed in from the back um, and these have got a thread on them um, but because in this case I'm screwing these onto the plate I need to drill these out because at the moment they're threaded and I want those to be uh, uh, 
able to just accept the screw. So I'm going to start off by drilling these out to five and a half mil. So they're going to take an M5 screw, and there's not a lot of metal left to be honest. So on this particular one, I only need to drill two out of the four holes. I might speed this up. Spirit on the water and darkness on the face of the deep. I keep thinking about you, babe, and I can't hardly sleep. I'm traveling by land, I'm traveling through the dawn of the Okay, so the these little parts um, are what actually press into the switches. Um, I'm going to cut these. I've, well, I cut this one out of a piece of angle like this, just a piece of aluminium angle. Um, I've got the luxury of having a bandsaw. It's not essential. Um, it does make operations like this pretty easy, but you could do this just with a hacksaw. Um, but get it done quite quickly on this which is which is good so crack on with that So, it's it roughed out, and the kind of luxury tool that I've now got is a little belt sander, which again makes things like this a lot easier. If you want to just take off some sharp edges. I've got my two switch depressors. I'd forgotten about you, and then you turn up again. And I always knew that we were gonna be more than friends. And when you knew me, I was just as plain as you. Sources of this hidden pain You burned your way into my heart You got the keys to my brain I'm traveling through mud I'm praying to the power above Oh, I'm 
sweating blood She got a face that begs for love Life without you It doesn't mean a thing to me If I can't have you oh, I'll throw my love into the deep blue sea Sometimes I wonder Oh, why you can't treat me right You do me good all day You do me wrong all night Okay, so we've got the two switches mounted Top one and the bottom And we've got these two little plates mounted that this one moves up and down, we'll hit into this one. This one stays put, but the switch itself moves up and down in this case. Um, but they still need to be wired up in the same way as these have been wired up. Um, so the junction box that these connect to is this one at the back here, this one here. Um, so first of all, we've got the incoming wire here. and just got the two uh, two two cables there inside here um, and they are coming from the previous from the previous one which is this guy here so that comes in around the cable chain loops around here that'll come into this junction box and then out of these two um, glands out of these two glands one into here and one down into the other one so first off I'm going to connect this up inside here Again, using that same diagram that I showed you earlier, that I've put down somewhere. So, using this this same diagram, um, I'm going to get this wired up next. First off, get this cover off. So inside you can see you've got a pretty standard looking connector block. I'm get it out. Um, which is what that is supposed to represent on this diagram. So in order to test the machine I just connected those two strands together, just twisted them together so that the circuit was complete. But now we're going to um, wire this up properly. So that one there is core number two, and that one there is core number one. So to tidy up the the strands of wire here, um, I've been using these little boot lace ferrule things, which you pop over the top, and you strip the wire, and then crush on with a crimping tool. Bearing on the water and diamonds on the face of the deep. I keep thinking about you, baby, and I can't hardly sleep. I'm traveling by land, I'm traveling through the dawn of the day. You're always on my I'm conscious that was a bit tricky to see. Um, so, just to explain, then um, coming in, um, you've got 24 volts going up through here, up, out, up to the switch up there, and then back into this guy, round into this one, out to the next switch, back, round here, into here, and then, and then off. So it's something similar to the um, to the diagram uh, earlier. So that terminal block is all done um, and now I've just got to connect the other ends to the switches. <laughs> 